is the setting today for the ABL on Fox as one meets two with the San Miguel Beermen hosting the Indonesia Warriors. The visiting team, the Indonesia Warriors. And number two, and number three, Stanley Pringle. And number eight, Jerry Kui Tanyana. And number nine, Christopher Von Brown Daniel. And number 12, Sven DeRoyter. And number 15, Christian Ronaldo Sitepo. And number 16, John Smith. And number 17, Amin Antono. And number 27, Donny Ristanto. And number 55, Stephen Thomas. At number 77, Franz Chawazdi. And at number 91, Agustinus Indrajaya. Head coach is John Todd Herbs. Assistant coaches is Kierman Ujono, Kokorda Raka Satria Wingawa, and Bokis Mohamed Sidi. Team manager is Rudol Sulis. Your San Miguel Beerman unleashed! From Akati City, Philippines, number 11, Hans Tiele! <laughs> From Isabella City, Philippines, number 6, Val Acuna! <laughs> Yaka City, Philippines, number one, Jarek Fortuna. <laughs> From Cagayan de Oro City, Philippines, number 15, J.R. Kowalik. <laughs> From Fremont, California, number three, Christian Wanzon. From Tomar Lady Philippines, number 30, Major Payne, Eric Mike. <laughs> From Illinois in the USA, number 24, Justin Douglas Williams. <laughs> and now the starters for your San Miguel Beermen. From Davao City, Philippines, number 23, R.J. Rizzetta. <laughs> From Manila, the Philippines, number 18, Leo Avenido. <laughs> From Kazan City, in the Philippines, number 12, Paulo Hufalde! <laughs> From New York in the USA, number 33, Michael Brian Williams! <laughs> and from Samar Leite, Philippines, number 88, The Rock Asi Tolava! <laughs> Head coach for the Beerman is Leo Austria. Assistant coaches Oliver Bunyi, Matt Kuan, and Alvin Tang. Team manager is Rico Menezes. And the team official is Noli Ayala. Our referees for this game, Sean Yun Un from Malaysia. John Tapan, Nakapong from Thailand. Sampan Kumbu Siripan of Thailand. And our game commissioner is Neil Mengyan of Malaysia. Tumayo po ang lahat, alisin ang anumang saplot sa ulo at humarap po tayo sa ating bandila at awitin ang pambansang awit ng Pilipinas. Bayang magiging, tenas ng silang naman, alam na puso, sa ganyan po'y buhay. Sa langit mong buka, may silagang tula at awit sa paglayang minamahal. 
Dito po tayo umupo. And in a few minutes, we'll start your game featuring the Indonesia Warriors and your San Miguel Beerman. Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome to Pasig City. Alongside Peter Martin, I'm Sean Farquhar. For the San Miguel Beermen, their task today, a simple one. A win, and they lock up the number one spot in the ABL regular season standings and with it home court advantage throughout the playoffs. And Peter, when we look at this San Miguel team, they continue to win in the absence of Chris Banchero, but in their last two games without Banchero at the point, they have appeared to be vulnerable. Well, at least the two players have stepped up for the San Miguel Beermen in the likes of uh, Fortuna and Hubalde. Obviously, as you look at the team standings right now, 15-3 for the San Miguel Beermen, Indonesia Warriors 13-5. And, and like you mentioned, Sean, if the San Miguel Beermen win today, they're locked up home court advantage until the end of this season. So that's what they're looking for today. This is the fourth and final meeting of the season between San Miguel and Indonesia, the two teams that locked up in last year's ABL Finals, won eventually in three games by the Indonesia Warriors. San Miguel this season winning two of the first three, but it has been tight in their meetings. Yes, and uh, one player has not been there. Of course, obviously, Stanley Pringle. And if you look at the statistics, the two out of the three meetings that uh, the San Miguel Beerman won only by 3.5 points. Here, here's the statistics, Sean. And one of the things that I see jumping out of, the, of this statistic is the rebounds per game. We know that the San Miguel Beerman have those big players in Asi Taulava and the two imports and the Williams brothers. I just call them the Williams brothers. But there, that's why they have an eight point advantage in the rebounding department. But that's going to be a different story today. Obviously, uh, Todd Perps will uh, do some adjustments for today's ballgame. And bringing back Stan Pringle, a Filipino-American, he had to make an adjustment on his roster. They dropped Richard Smith. So in bringing back Pringle, the Warriors, Peter, getting smaller, they only have two legitimate big men mm -hmm. in Chris Daniels and Steve Thomas today. But that might also come as an advantage to the Indonesia Warriors. We don't know, Sean, obviously sometimes the bigger the team is, the better usually. But sometimes when you bring in a Stanley Pringle, you know that he can penetrate, he can shoot from the outside. He does a lot of things for this Indonesian Warriors team. And I feel that if he's not here, he, Indonesia does not have a chance against this today. As mentioned, San Miguel on a 12-game winning streak. That's an ABL record. They mm -hmm. look to make it 13 today. In the absence of Chris Banchero, guys that have stepped up, Ozzy Talava playing like a man 15 years younger than the 40 years that he is, and he's been averaging nearly 20 points over his last five games. And you know, you know Asi Taolava again has to establish himself down at the post in this ball game for the San Miguel Beermen to be a uh, be a contender, not only in this game, but all, obviously in the coming playoffs. We just saw Justin Williams. He has really improved the San Miguel Beermen defense since coming to San Miguel. Look at what Justin Williams, a glue guy to be sure, look at the percentages that opponents have had since Williams has joined San Mig. You know, Sean, that's the testament that not only offense will win games. Defense, obviously, with the presence of uh, Justin Williams in the last nine games, you know, this guy hasn't lost a game with the <laughs> San Miguel Beerman, and he does it with his defensive presence, obviously number one in the blocking, block shots, four and a half a game, so that's a, uh, a, a presence underneath the basket for the Beerman. Stan Pringle making his third game back with the Indonesia Warriors since being out most of the season, tending to a meniscus injury. He led the Warriors to the title last season. And you know, look at the Stan Pringle, 10 and a half points. It's a little deceptive Check here in the win two. over Saigon. He was extremely rusty, just one of 10 from the floor. Last week against Malaysia, he looked like his old self with 19 points. 19 points and eight rebounds. Uh, like you said, the rust is a little gone. Uh, expect him to be uh, better, get better and better as the games go on for the ABL and for, obviously for the uh, Indonesia Warriors. And he's, he's back. Other than that, very few changes in this Indonesia Warrior lineup. Todd Purvis has stuck with the same two imports, Chris Daniels and Steve Thomas. Stan Pringle is standing by with our reporter today, Noel Bonus. Thanks, guys. I'm here with Stanley Pringle. So you have been out for three months because of your surgery. Now, what did you do to get back into the rhythm of your game? Um, you know, I give all the credit to everybody at ISMC training. They, uh, you know, they 
had me focused on rehab every day, and they didn't let me push it too much, even though I wanted to push it so much. Um, you know, I, I give them all the credit. Give me back. Perfect. And so you guys are facing the number one team in the ABL League right now. How do you feel about that, and what did you guys do to prepare for today's game? I, I'm just glad to be back, you know, uh, five games before playoffs. You know, that's plenty of time for me to get, get everything right. Uh, I'm still not all the way 100, but, um, you know, I'm getting better. You know, I'm just glad to be out here, work on my skills again, get back right. Well, we're glad to have you back, and we want to wish you and your team the best of luck today. Oh, Thanks, guys. Back to you. Noel, thank you. So a study in contrast, a very big San Miguel mm -hmm. lineup going against a smaller Indonesian Warrior lineup. What's the Warriors' task today, Peter? Of course, they want to speed up the game, especially when the San Miguel BMN will go three big sometimes. They, they want to speed up the game. All right, we'll see what kind of tempo we have. We'll take a break. When we return, starting lineups in the opening tip, you're watching the ABL on Fox. Back here at the Inara Sports Arena where we are just about set for the opening tip. The two top teams in the ABL. The San Miguel Beermen riding a 12 game win streak against the defending league champions, Indonesia Warriors. The Warriors need a win today to have any hope of claiming the number one spot going into the playoffs. They would need a huge win today, coupled with a San Miguel collapse over their remaining games. Let's take a look at the starting lineup. Stan Pringle back in there along with John Smith. Now, Mario Wasong ostensibly is the small forward, but Todd Purvis here, Peter Martin, is going with a three-guard lineup along with C.D., Chris Daniels, and Steve Thomas. And that's what they have to do. Actually, the Indonesia Warriors, they have to think about what they're going to do to counter what the San Miguel Beermen have. Obviously, they have a big lineup. Paulo Hubalde has not committed a turnover in two games since taking over for Chris Banchero, Leo Avenido. His stroke finally coming now at the two guard spot. Ozzy Talava playing. He has rediscovered that fountain of youth. RJ Rosada is the other forward, along with Brian Williams at the center spot. They will bring Justin Williams off the bench, and it's great to have the league's leading shot blocker as your sixth man. <laughs> Obviously, it's a, a luxury for uh, Coach Leo Austria bringing Justin Williams off the bench. Uh, off the tip, that is knocked out of bounds and it will be San Miguel ball. Well, one of the things you want to do, Sean, if you're the San Miguel Beerman is to establish your low post game early with that guy, Asitao Lava. He's down in the corner, working against Daniels, kicks out Avenido in rhythm off the back of the iron. Daniels controls. And the Warriors will set up in their three-guard lineup. Pringle, now with Song, entry pass sent back to Pringle. He'll rise, fire with one hand, too strong. Rebound, Williams. Rosada left all by himself on the wing. Avenido with the offensive board and a fresh 24 for San Miguel. Talava kicks, baseline, Rosada, pull-up jumper, in and out. And the beer men have missed their first three shots. But there are good shots, Sean. The beer men, obviously you saw again another offensive rebound, uh, one of the strengths of the San Miguel beer men that the Indonesia Warriors have to look again about. Smith, that's John Smith attempting a three. 
Both teams cold to begin the first quarter. Talava finds himself alone at the free throw line. Steve Thomas refusing to come out on him. Comes off the rim. Chris Daniels pulling it down. Again, another second chance opportunity for the San Miguel Beerman. Just not being able to put that ball in the hoop. Avenito matching up with Pringle. Daniels off a screen. Daniels on the pull-up. That's well short. The 18-footer not really his game. Paulo Hibalde. Rosada now drives down the middle. Sent into the corner. Avenito along the baseline. It volleyballs around. Brian Williams is right there for the layup. That was a gimme to Brian Williams for the first two points of this ball game. Uh, what you want to see from the beer men is they move the ball around. They try and try to get into the penetration. The kick out and the first two points go to the beer men. Daniels now with space. He offloads Smith from the side. Steve Thomas with the offensive rebound on a double pump. He scores on the way back up. Those of their own medicine coming from the Steve Thomas, the reigning defensive player of the ABL. He had 20 points in their one-point loss to the Westport Malaysia Dragons a week ago. Talava, Avenido working against Daniels. They swing it. Pringle active in the middle. He jumps into it. Three on two. Smith had to hurry to catch up. Thomas and Daniels arrive. Again, off the screen, Daniels, right side, swish. And that's what you want to see from Daniels. Once he gets to shoot that 15-footer, he's going to be a better player. Of obviously, a uh, spark for the Indonesia Warriors. Sent over the other way, now Rosada. Lots of defensive switching here for Indonesia. They clogged the middle, tapped out, and it will remain San Miguel ball with five seconds to shoot. Again, that's close to a turnover for the San Miguel Beermen. So the Indonesia Warriors have their number defensively, at least in this possession. Avenido off the inbound. He'll catch up to it. Along the baseline, swings it. Rosada wants a three. Pringle right there. So despite being smaller, so far Indonesia controlling the boards well. Smith, skip pass. Daniels lasers it over, left side, and it's a three for Stan Pringle. And that's what the Indonesia Warriors have been missing in Stanley Pringle coming off a 19-point game. He's hot tonight. Warriors go up 7-2, courtesy of back-to-back -back jump shots. Rosada and Talava. Nice ball movement. Hobalde right down the middle, unable to connect. You know, one of the things you have to do if you're a San Miguel Beerman is to be ready to shoot the ball, especially when Asi Taolava gets all the attention underneath the basket. Ball is swung once or twice. You got to catch and shoot. Off the inbound, poor defense by the Warriors. Some eye-to-eye -eye contact between Hubalde and RJ Rizana resulted in the two points for the Beerman. We played four and a half here in the first quarter. Thomas swings it, Pringle in rhythm. One and out for Indonesia. Rosada stepping back. They are really trying to get him involved in the offense. Talava catches up to it. Rosada now 0 for 3 from the left wing. Gabalde curls around a screen in and out, but the putback is there for Rosada. Second chance basket, Peter. And we have a timeout on the floor. 4.58 to go. Warriors leading the Beermen 7-6. You're watching the ABL on Fox.
We are back at Pasig City, taking a look here at Paulo Hubalde. This is the second chance basket that we were talking about at the top of the show, Peter Martin. And, you know, sometimes you think it would be from the big guys, Williams or Asita Olava, who would get those second chance opportunities. But this time, a smaller player in the likes of RJ Rosada being in the right place at the right time. You're just tuning in here to Friday Night Basketball on Fox, one against two. San Miguel Beermen looking to win their 13th consecutive game here matching up against the defending ABL champion Indonesia Warriors. Ozzy Talaba now in the corner working against John Smith. Now the switch comes. Daniels trying to strip Talaba. Spin move in the lane. That's traveling, no basket. They wave it off, Talaba furious. But he has the right thing in mind. He wants to establish his low post game for the other shooters from the outside to get free. This time he traveled. It remains 7-6. Take a look. Yeah, he lost his yeah. pivot foot. A good call by the refs. Pringle here harassed by Hubalde. They kick it out. Jarek Cognata now in the game, along with Donnie Ristanto for the Warriors. One second on the shot clock. The floater won't go. Outlet to Hibalde. He saves it. Now Avenido. RJ Rosada looking to get it to Hibalde. They swing it. Avenido for three in the corner. And that'll go back to the Warriors. Let's send it over to Noel Bonus. All right, so to start the game off, Coach Leo pretty much told the Beermen to keep your eyes on every player of the game and just be good at reading all the players of the, of the Warriors team and their plays. Uh, he told them that the Warriors can seem to be un unpredictable at times and can change it up. So he just doesn't want the Beermen to be caught off guard. And most of all, he just told them to be aggressive and to stay aggressive. Back to you guys. Noel, thank you. Certainly aggression, not a problem for San Miguel in the early going. Finger roll from Taulava and drawing the foul from Christian Setepu. Asi Taulava and uh, head coach Pervs of the Indonesian Warriors have some uh, happy moments together. They were uh, chatting <laughs> from the sidelines. He says with tongue in cheek. <laughs> Taulava averaging 19 points over his last five games. Wow. Yeah, before the season started, you know, I had my doubts about a 40-year-old, but honestly, Talava, he's in great shape, and as the season progresses, he seems to be getting better and better. Now, now, now it's, uh, it makes me curious what kind of uh, regiment does he have? What, what uh, training schemes does he have to keep himself in shape for being a 40-year-old? Pringle looking to Cut through two defenders. Avenido gathers it at midcourt. Hibalde in full stride. Inside, Taulava. And that's the San Miguel Beerman game. Pound it inside to the bigs. Asi Taulava again right now. Being the presence underneath that he usually is. Gets his points. Thomas. And Kanyata will catch that, but it'll be an over and back. And the Warriors now having trouble hanging on to the ball. Another look at the second field goal of the afternoon from Talaba. Rosada inside for Williams. Great positioning from the former University of Tennessee star. But that was a good pass coming from RJ Rizada, knowing that there was a mismatch because a small guy was on Brian Williams. Kanyada, bullet pass inside. Satepu couldn't handle it. That's three turnovers in succession. And you know, Sean, you feel that the San Miguel Beermen are stepping on the gas pedal right now. Being the aggressive team that they usually are, it's uh, working wonderful right now in the first quarter. Warriors go into a zone from outside. Williams knocks it down. He got his uh, confidence from that putback. Now a three-point shot. He Nothing has, but net. He has seven. This is a 13-0 run by San Miguel. Thomas from outside. Scramble for it. Avenido comes up with it. He's got Hobalde in front of him. Avenido, Hubalde, 
And the trailer, Brian Williams. That's nine for B. Williams, and the Beermen go up by seven. Uh, that's nine points, and uh, most of it coming in the latter part of this uh, first quarter of play. Correction, Beermen up by 10. Pringle on the crossover. Loose ball foul. And that's on the Warriors. Chris Daniels picking up a foul. Talking to Todd Purvis, coach of Indonesia, before the game, foul trouble for his bigs. Such a concern, and there Daniels picking up a cheap foul. And obviously you don't want that to happen, especially if the ball was given already to the Beermen. No need to foul in that manner. Obalde swings Avenido, started to penetrate. Taulava passing out of the double team. Obalde nowhere close. Warriors in a rut here. Cognata from outside. Under a minute to go in the first. Obalde on the up and under. And a foul coming up the floor. That is going to be on Paulo Hubalde. Actually a good foul after not being able to hit that shot. A counter fast break on the way for the Indonesia Warriors. A good foul by Paulo Hubalde. They will have to set it up in half court. With 39 seconds left, two team fouls apiece for the Beermen and Warriors. Sean, it's a 13 to nothing coming from the Beermen. Left side, Sitepu air ball. Val Acuna coming in. Beautiful ball movement and the finish by Hubalde. Very unselfish play coming from the locals of the San Miguel Beermen. Picture perfect fast break. Warriors want to hold for last shot of the first quarter. Pringle in for Thomas. Thomas puts it on the floor, they swing and they don't get the shot off. To end the first quarter, Todd Purvis unhappy with the lack of execution. San Miguel Beerman continue to roll here against the defending champions. They finish this on a 17-0 run and will take a 19-7 lead into the second quarter. We'll have it for you when we come back on Fox. You're watching Friday Night Basketball on Fox Sports. San Miguel Beerman here. Excellent ball distribution. The finish by Paula Hubalde playing in place of the injured Chris Banchiro. And so far, Peter Martin, this Beerman team not missing a beat on track for their 13th consecutive win. Well, so far, so good, at least in the first quarter of play for the Beerman here. Again, another turnover. And that's the, been the problem of the Indonesia Warriors. They, the turnover points and the fast break points, actually easy points, Sean, coming from the San Miguel Beermen. They're not making the San Miguel Beermen have a hard time as we look at the head coach Purves yes. of the Indonesian Warriors. A visibly frustrated Todd Purvis. Satepu goes inside for Thomas. Mario Wusong, a 41% three-point shooter, hits from downtown which ends a long run now. Yes, they've changed that. It is a three, in fact. So 21-10. Avenido goes in for Taulaba. Taulaba banging with Steve Thomas on the fadeaway. And Smith there for the rebound. The runner, no good. And Thomas there. He goes inside and then... He and 
Brian Williams get tangled up. Uh, one of the things we see for uh, Indonesia is that Mario Wusang is uh, being more aggressive on the offensive end. He shot the three-point earlier. The next shot, his uh, teammate Thomas got the rebound. Satepu tapping that to Thomas. This is a slightly bigger Warrior lineup with Satepu in there. Smith looking for the three. For all the information on the ABL, you can go to the website, ASEANBasketballLeague.com. Also, you can follow the ABL on Twitter at ABL News, along with Facebook. All games can be seen on the ABL live stream at YouTube.com slash ABL. Steve Thomas lost the handle, but they swing it. Seven seconds on the shot clock from outside. Christian Satepu, a brick. Both teams ragged here. Val Acuna on a sweet rainbow. That's the type of shots Val Acuna can get. Stepping into the shot, regardless of it being beyond the arc, very confident in the last one. His we triple. up by 12, yeah. Yeah, triple, doubling up on the Indonesia Warriors. Thomas. He's down in the corner. Puts it over the top of Brian Williams and hits. That's not really Steve Thomas's game, but it works, and they need that kind of offense. Once again, Noel Bonus. All right, so I came from the Warriors huddle, and it looks like Coach John just gave them a little bit of a scolding. Uh, the Warriors are making a lot of uh, careless mistakes out there, not catching the ball when they should and not executing their plays when they should. And it looks like they're taking a lot of this aggressive behavior from the beer men, and he pretty much just told them to simply focus and just get their heads back in the game. Back to you guys. Shot clock violation, and Noel being very polite. We're beside the Warriors bench, and I can tell you that was an R-rated scolding that Todd Purvis gave his Warriors. Well, he's trying to uh, shake them up, these guys from the Indonesia Warriors, and it might have helped right now. You see the, the Mario Wusang being a bit more aggressive on the offensive end. You see the bigs uh, taking the shot, Stephen Thomas. The reason why Stephen Thomas is having a hard time right now, Sean, is because there are two players for the San Miguel Beermen who can go toe-to-toe -to -toe with him. Wusong comes off the screen and hits from the left side. So he's two for two from beyond the arc, and the Warriors clawed within seven. Something they want to look at is the outside shooting of Mario Wusong. Justin Williams and Hans Tielli now in the game, along with this man, Jarek Fortuna. Five seconds on the shot clock from outside. Hans Tielli gets all caught. Hans Ciele, the second group for the San Miguel Beermen. This is when the San Miguel Beermen have their advantage against the other teams. The second five of the Beermen are just as strong as the first five. Wusong offloads Thomas on a fake, comes outside, no foul is called. Valacuna stops, pops, a race for it, loose ball, Ciele coming up with it from outside. Now Brian Williams, hook shot too strong. And the initial call is it will remain in the hands of the beer men and a full 24 seconds with five and a half to go here in the first half. Again, the problems of the Indonesia Warriors not being able to call her down that rebound and start their fast break. Fortuna curls around. Rebounded by Daniels. John Smith setting up the play. Thomas, look at the help defense coming from Acuna. Three seconds on the shot clock. The runner, and that is a goal 10. And the basket will count. It would be good to get another look at that. That's going to make it 26-19. Here it is. The specialty of the house coming from Justin Williams. The like ball that. was in its downward trajectory, <laughs> thus a goal 10. That's right. So 26-19, the score here in the second quarter. <laughs> Offensive foul. 
called on Hans Tiele. Yeah, Hans Tiele being too aggressive, trying to get the ball at the position that he feels he can have an advantage against the Indonesian player. First team timeout against San Miguel. It comes with 4.46 to go in the first half. Beerman leading the Warriors 26-19 as we step away. Well, bonus, Peter Martin, Sean Farquhar, and the entire Fox Sports crew on hand here at the Anaris Sports Arena with 4.46 to go in the first half. The San Miguel Beermen in search of the number one spot. Going into the ABL playoffs, leading the Indonesia Warriors 26-19. This is Amin Priantono sending it back to John Smith. Eight seconds to fire. Smith has it taken away by TLA. The beer men have been so disruptive on defense in this first half. Again, not good execution coming from the Indonesia Warriors. And that will lead again to another turnover. You know, they don't have as much chances to shoot the ball already because of the second chance opportunities like this one coming from Justin Williams. Oh, Williams has it taken away by Thomas. Excellent defense from the Defensive Player of the Year. Back in Wusong. Throws it right to the hands of Justin Williams. Acuna from downtown, yes! The second three-point shot for Val Acuna, six points in the ball game. And a while ago, Sean, we saw the inside presence of the big men from San Miguel Beermen. This time, we're seeing the outside shooting. Daniels trying to hit the floater. Finds its way into the hands of Fortuna. Fortuna going back. Acuna looking for his third three and will oh. get it. He is on fire for San Miguel. Forces Todd Purvis to call a timeout. Val Acuna with nine for the San Miguel beer men. And that's the type of player you want to have, Sean, off the bench for the San Miguel Beerman. Coach Leo Austria without Chris Banchero, his best player. It's guard by committee, and here Acuna from beyond. And one thing you want to see from uh, Jeric Fortuna is that he knew where his players were, being the point guard. That's Val Acuna with his third three-point shot. And the San Miguel Beer Men have their biggest lead of the game at 32-19. Coach Leo Austria before the game saying, hey, Indonesia is a dangerous team with Pringle around, so we have to be disciplined in executing our game plan both on offense and defense. But the first thing in our list is to stop Pringle. And certainly Stan Pringle has not been a major factor thus far in the first half. Well, not yet. At least not yet. And uh, Coach Leo Austria and his staff has done an excellent job trying to stop Stanley Pringle. But the other problem is Mario Wuisang is starting to get hot. But right now, they have a 13-point lead. And in control of this ball game are the San Miguel Beermen. So, so far, all things are going well for San Miguel. Coming out of the timeout, Hubalde, Williams, Talava, Tiele, Acuna, and Avenido. Now a change. Tiele's coming out, and Avenido comes in for Indonesia. Daniels, Thomas, Wu Song, John Smith, and this man, Stan Pringle. Daniels sets the screen. Pringle going over for Smith. Skip pass to CD. Wu Song. Oh, a 25 footer for Mario Wu Song. He has three from beyond the arc. And what's scary is that if Val Acuna was all over Mario Wusang, he still made the shot. So the beer men will have to live with that kind of shot. Here's Talava rocking the rim. 
A beautiful pocket pass coming from a Paolo Ubalde. He gets the tap from Masi Taolava. He's uh, got six points. Warriors being judicious in how they defend Ozzy Talava. Daniels and Thomas trying to stay out of foul trouble. Thomas right there for the offensive board. Williams with a block. That's now Hubalde. As the Beermen fill the lanes. Acuna again from downtown. Gets it. And what you want to see from the San Miguel Beermen is that they're riding their hot player. Avenido already had an open three, but he saw Valacuna. Gave it unselfishly, and Valacuna sinks it. Acuna, perfect from long distance. Here's Wu Song trying to answer. Long rebound, and Williams extending. 147 to go in the first half. Beerman with a 15 point lead. Ubalde has Pringle on him. And Daniels jumps out. Avenido, turnaround jumper. Usong, and he's got John Smith with him. Usong goes inside, contact, and he earns a pair at the line. Indonesia Warriors have to play this way. Even before the defense is settled for the San Miguel Beerman, it's easier a little bit uh, for the Indonesia Warriors to attack the basket. Here we see again the fourth three point shot made coming from Balacuña. At the other end, Paula Hubalde committing the foul, second team foul on the Beermen. One of two for Wusong. Free throws have been a problem suddenly for Indonesia in their loss last week to the Malaysia Dragons, just 12 of 20 at the free throw line, so they miss eight free throws in a game, but they would lose by one. <laughs> Acuna again, a corner three this time. And you know, Sean, he's coming out with a smile because he's just feeling it right now. In fact, five of six in the first half for Acuna. Beerman, not normally known as a three-point shooting team, and this surprising the Warriors. Thomas clearing the glass, puts it up. Count it, and the foul. Badly needed points uh, coming from uh, Stephen Thomas with a foul to boot. Jared Cognata will replace John Smith. Thomas made his first foray in the ABL playing for a Philippines team. It was the Philippines Patriots. Here at the Anara Sports Arena, they play a church gong as Thomas goes <laughs> to the free throw line. It's a nice touch. Valacuna holding the hot hand, has Wu Song on him. Talava muscles against Thomas with one hand off the front of the rim, and Justin Williams there for the putback. Shot clock is off with 12 seconds to go in the first half. Back it goes, Daniels down the middle, and Justin Williams there to greet him. Williams thought he got away cleanly, but that is a foul. That was a fantastic play, whatever way it goes, as the foul is going to go against Justine Williams. Here we see again, Daniels thought he had a lean clear, but there's the block. In the you know, and from that angle, I don't see the contact, but it will be free throws for Chris Daniels with 4.8 seconds to go in the first half. Todd Purvis is out into the middle of the floor arguing for a flagrant and if he's not careful, he's going to get teed up. I think uh, Todd Purvis was arguing the play before with uh, Asita Olava, which looked like an offensive foul going up against Steve Thomas. Yes, Todd Purvis has been engaged in an earnest debate with the officials <laughs> from the opening tap. His team at the moment getting hammered, trailing the Beermen 42-26. Beermen have been lights out from downtown, six 
of 14. For a team that doesn't shoot a lot of threes, that is superb. And you know, you were talking about uh, Chris Panchero being absent in the last three games for this guy, uh, Coach Leo Austria, and the rest of the beer men. So far, so good. Certainly after a rocky couple of games for the beer men, both of them wins, we should point out. In this game, it has been very smooth. Paula Hubalde, and there is the injured Chris Banchero talking with the team manager, Rico Manessas, before the game, saying that his torn quadricep tendon is going to take 10 days, two weeks. Mm -hmm. We will see before he makes his return. He should be back in time for the playoffs. You know, what can help really is if the Beermen win the game today and lock up first place, and then you can give some more time to Chris Pantera to really recuperate and heal properly and be ready for the playoffs. That's an excellent point, Peter. Daniels missing the first of two. Beerman will get it back with 4.8 seconds left. He hits the second, 42-27. Christian Satepu comes in to finish off the first half for the Indonesia Warriors. Hubalde scampers up the floor. He puts it up from the side. And that brings the first half to a close. The San Miguel Beermen getting it done from downtown. Lee, the Indonesia Warriors, 42-27 and are 20 minutes away from the number one seed in the playoffs and their 13th consecutive win. Halftime when we come back on Fox Sports. At the half here at the Inara Sports Arena, the San Miguel Beerman handing it to the Indonesia Warriors, 42-27. Sean Farquhar along with Peter Martin. When you take a look at that first half, the San Miguel Beerman, Peter, controlling the boards exactly the way Leo Austria wanted them to. Yeah, not only did they control the boards, but they had a special guest for today in the name of Balacuña. You know, the nine points of Brian Williams was expected. The six points from Asita Olava was expected. But when you get a guy off the bench in Balacuña and it's a five out of six from the three-point line, that's a bonus. Balacuña is the leading scorer and the high man in today's game. Meanwhile, for the Indonesia Warriors, just 33% shooting in the first half. And they were manhandled down low. Not a lot of second chance basket opportunities for Indonesia. And Todd Purvis has got to make some major changes going into the second half. Well, especially on the offensive side of things. Uh, they were not able to execute really well. That's why the San Miguel Beerman had a couple of steals, a couple of fast break opportunities. Because on the offensive side of uh, Indonesia, they weren't really performing really well. Poor ball handling by Indonesia, hurting them. Eight turnovers in the first half. That's going to make the Warriors coaching staff grow gray hair. And of, uh, and of course, uh, even uh, the San Miguel Yemen only had four turnovers. As we look at the, some of the halftime stats, 41% from the field, John, for the San Miguel Beermen. And the rebounding department, still again, the strength of the Beermen at 22 versus 15. 14 assists for the San Miguel Beermen. And let's remember, this comes in the absence of their best player, Chris Banchero, the starting point guard. And he's the number one assist man for the San Miguel Beermen with four and a half a games. And yet, we have seen from the San Miguel Beermen the unselfishness. We saw a while ago, Leo Avenido had an open three-point shot, but he looked at the other guy who was, uh, who was a Valacuña. Well, that, in fact, is incorrect. Valacuña has... 15 points, not 10, he has 15 points on five of six shooting from three-point land. Mario Wasong does have 10. 10. He is the high man for Indonesia. Not what you'd expect. Chris Daniels has not been involved in the offense, and they managed to keep he and Steve Thomas under wraps offensively. Well, I think, you know, Indonesia, what Indonesia has to do is to be more aggressive, at least on the offensive side of things, and really make the 
Spearman, with the big lineup, have a hard time defending the smaller players. 42-27 at the half, and you see the San Miguel Beerman team with a win today will get the number one spot in the ABL playoffs for the Indonesia Warriors with a loss today. They've got to keep their eye on the Westport Malaysia Dragons who are sitting in the third spot so far in the standings with 10 wins against eight losses. A loss today would be their sixth. The Malaysia Dragons have a game this Sunday, so things could tighten up quickly mm -hmm. here for the Indonesia Warriors. And you know, Sean, every time you see the number one team versus the number two team, it's special. And uh, uh, the San Miguel Bierman have a score to settle, remembering going back to the last uh, 2012 Asian Basketball League, wherein the, uh, the Indonesia Warriors won it in game three, here in the same place in Inara Sports Arena. This is the fourth and final meeting this season between the Indonesia Warriors and the San Miguel Bierman. When we take a look here at Val Acuna, and this is something that San Miguel did not have in their first three meetings against Indonesia, a hot shooting Val Acuna. And you see all the guys from the bench really happy with the, their teammate, Val Acuna, five out of six. Fire you know, in the first. Really good. Excellent shooting from downtown for Val Acuna and the San Miguel Beerman team shooting 40% from three-point territory. And for Indonesia, they have got to get a hand out on Val Acuna. Let's go over now to Noel Bonus. All right, I'm here with Mark Kuan, assistant coach for the Beerman. Now, the, the players have played such an amazing first half. They were on fire. Now, what was the spark that ignited this? Oh, well, um, we've been practicing hard for the last few days, and um, most of the players are doing extra work after practice. They've been shooting. Um, they're looking, for, looking forward to this game. This is a big game, and uh, one thing that um, helped us is we're passing the ball. Right now, we have 14 assists to their three assists, so we're playing team basketball. Let's go for winning streak number 13. Good luck to you and the rest of the team. Back to you guys. Certainly unselfish basketball. Thank you, Noel. 14 dimes in the first half. That'd be pretty good for an entire game, but 14 in the first half is superb, and Leo Austria and the San Miguel coaching staff obviously delighted. We're going to take a quick break. When we come back, the third quarter, you're watching Friday Night Basketball on Fox. We return you to the Inara Sports Arena where the San Miguel Beermen lead the Warriors 42-27 going into the second half. Uh, on your screens is uh, Paolo Hubaldes, uh, the point guard of uh, San Miguel Beermen's father. That's uh, Freddy Hubaldes, a PBA legend. And he's got to be very happy with the way his son and the mm -hmm. entire Beermen team are playing here for, through the first 20 minutes. Now, you're Todd Purvis, Peter. You're down 42-27. You know, you're limited with just two bigs. What kind of adjustments can you make going into the second half? Well, one of the things that they have to look at if you're the Indonesia Warriors is the uh, guards of the San Miguel Beermen. The 14 assists, uh, Sean, that you were talking about earlier, that's that's one of the keys of the game. So the, the guards of the San Miguel Beermen are too relaxed. You have to challenge the guards, uh, Paolo Hubalde, Jerry Cortuna, even Valacuna. Not give them the shots that they want. Not give them the space to create and uh, create for their teammates with the good passes. So that's one of the things that you want to look at. Chris Banchiro, there you see, out with a torn quadricep tendon. He's missed the last couple of games and is expected to miss the next 10 days to two weeks, depending on whom you ask. But as you mentioned, Peter, would they win today, San Miguel would lock down the number one mm -hmm. seed in the playoffs, and perhaps you shelve yeah. Chris Banchero for the rest of the regular season. And, and perhaps that puts off the pressure on Chris Banchero. He will get to uh, recuperate properly, not in a hurry. And obviously that, that 10 to 12 days we're talking about, Sean, is off the court. And uh, so from 12 days then, that's the only time he will be able to set foot on court. It will take another two weeks or a week. And to put that in context, 
the San Miguel beer man, as we see Noelle Ayala, the head of sport for San Miguel. To put that in context, 10 days, two weeks amounts to three games. San Miguel would have three games left in the regular season after today's contest, starting the second half for the beer men, Hubalde, Avenido, Taulaba, Williams, and RJ Rosada for Indonesia. John Smith, Chris Daniel, Steve Thomas, Stan Pringle, and Mario Wasong, who is out on Hubalde. Now Taulaba, a little shake and bake move, and short on the jumper. Smith pulls it down, Pringle, down the side. Wusong off a screen, trying to run the pick and roll, and nobody home on that pass. Miscommunication between the two. St Stanley Pringle was on the other side. Could have gotten the ball if uh, Mario Wusong only looked on the other side of his shoulder. Avenido prancing outside. Talava. Goes right to the rack and scores. That's too easy for Aji Taulava against Stephen Thomas. If you're Stephen Thomas, you have to put up more of a defensive stop for uh, the Indonesian Warriors to have a chance in this ball game tonight. Taulava has eight. Pringle whipping it across. Smith looking to go baseline. No foul called. Jumper no good. Thomas there for the offensive rebound. Hook shot. Gets it. So he gets one over Aji Taulava. They trade baskets. Thomas and Asi. Uh, the problem with the Indonesian Warriors, they don't have the luxury of trading baskets here in the third quarter. And they're still down by a lot, large margin. Talava looking to create with one hand. Outlet pass to Wusong. Daniels is on the side, gives back to John Smith. Offensive foul, Hubalde setting up for it. And Todd Purvis visibly annoyed with that call. And he was asking for the technical, really. He was working the referees ever since the first And he's way out on the floor, and Mario Wasong has to come over and tell Todd Purvis to calm down. This comes with 8.22 to go in the third quarter. And the technical has been called. Purvis. You know, Todd Purvis trying to make a statement from the reps. Sometimes, you know, these uh, head coaches will will intentionally get the uh, technical call just to challenge the referees and challenge their players. Now, I'm not sure what his beef was because Hubalde has his feet set. No question on that replay, Peter. And here, Daniels with the steal, and he goes in, and the beer men. They look confused there. They thought that a whistle had gone. So 46-31. Let's go over to the sidelines and Noel Bonus. All right, I got a chance to listen in to Coach Leo's huddle um, during halftime. And what he said was pretty short, sweet, and straight to the point. He told them, don't think that we're up by however many points we're up by. Put in your minds that we're at 0-0. Continue to stay focused and don't become too complacent. And I think once they do that and get back into the game, they'll be doing just fine in the second half. Back to you guys. Pringle with a spectacular move. Thank you, Noel, for that last basket. Brian Williams, hook shot over the top, calls glass. It's a dying art, Peter. <laughs> Great looking shot coming from Brian Williams, 11 points in the ball game. Only the second highest pointer to Valacuna. Remember, the, the star of the first half for the San Miguel Beerman. Daniels into the restricted area, shoves it to Thomas, and he gets the shooter's roll. 48-35, Beerman. Some high-low action between Daniels and uh, Steve Thomas here, as we see again. Now, they're challenging the guards of uh, the Beerman. Abalde with the kiss and the deuce. Uh, that's the problem when you put too much pressure on the guards. You're susceptible to the... Penetration. Pringle, that will count. On the continuation, Stan Pringle will head to the stripe. A couple of plays that look alike. Paolo Hubaldi on the other end was put on the pressure. He went all the way, got the two points. On this side, this guy on the line, Stanley Pringle with a foul to boot. And again, 
They are not best friends, Sean. <laughs> Todd Purvis has been <laughs> relentless with these officials. Three-point play is converted by Pringle and the Warriors, with Pringle getting eight points on the afternoon. Warriors hanging around, down 12. So slowly but surely, Indonesia is coming back into this ball game. Brian Williams outside, working against Stan Pringle. Now Avenido with the switch, Pringle on him. Talava, and pulled off the rim by Daniels. It's got Wusong on the wing. Daniels goes back, Pringle looking to penetrate, spin move, goes off. In the corner, it's saved by Avenido. Warriors getting the shot they wanted. Reach in foul. Don't check that. It's on Paulo Hubalde. And the beer men turn it over. And that's what we're trying to say, Sean. We want to challenge the guards of the San Miguel Beermen, especially without the likes of Chris Pantero playing in today's ballgame. Now, here we see the offensive foul. It's a shove, it's a push off hmm. because of the John Smith pressure on the backcourt. Good call, and I'm pretty sure Todd Purvis approves. <laughs> John Smith. Wusong putting it on the floor. Ten to fire. Smith putting it up. That shot, I think Fortuna got a piece of it. Brian Williams going right to the rack. Scores on the finger roll. No foul is called. Leo Austria telling Brian Williams to hush and get back. And again, the good defense of the San Miguel Beerman was that what created the offense on the other end. Daniels swings to Wusong. And Steve Thomas coming up a little bit limp going up the floor. Talava against Daniels. Fade away, Daniels with a block, getting the hand out on it. Wusong, and the foul is on Fortuna. That will be the third team foul on the beer men with 4.59 to go in the third quarter. Justin Williams will take over for Aussie Talava. We have a timeout on the floor at the Inaris Sports Arena. Beerman 52, Warriors 38. This is the ABL on Fox. Number one team in the ABL, enjoying a 15-point lead here. And you see Chris Daniels with the block as we go back to the live action. Mario with Song inside. And on the up and under, a foul underneath. Let's see who this is on. It's on Justin Williams, and that's the fourth team foul against the beer men, and we have 4.45 to go in the third quarter. Up uh, now, Sean, the guy who played really well in the first half is back on the floor, Vala Cunha, five out of six from the three-point region for the San Miguel beer men, who's back. Pringle has problems getting it in. Jarek Kanyata now at the point for Indonesia. A crunching screen set by Chris Daniels. He goes down the lane and off the glass, gets the Warriors within 12. That's a strong move, a good pick and roll set, being called by the Indonesia Warriors. Avenido curls the dish to Williams, trying to work the alley-oop. Long pass, Pringle, he jumps, no foul is called. Biermen bring it back, they have numbers. The flip, Acuna to Fortuna. Williams gets into position. Down the middle. Good shovel pass and the score from Jay Williams. And usually you see the small guys giving the ball to the big guys, but this time two big guys with the two points. Ryan Williams to Justin Williams in the last play. Kanyata back 
Daniels from the free throw line. And he is in adventure mode when shooting from beyond 15. Avenido, a quiet offensive day for him. Almost had the trap sprung on him from way outside. Kanyata pushes it, skip pass, Rusong brings it back. Kanyata, now Pringle. Song left wing, gets the three. Warriors as patient on offense as we've seen them today. A couple of passes in that last play, three or four passes. You know, the defense of the San Diego Dreamer was not bad, but it, break, broke, it was broken down after three or four passes let's in that see, last play. Let's see now if Indonesia can get a stop. Williams at the top, seven to shoot. Fortuna. Avenito putting it up with a hand in his face. Long rebound controlled by Thomas. And this is the time in the game, Sean, if you're Coach Leo Ostra, you have to be a little worried. You see Indonesia doing the right things offensively and even defensively. Kanyata, spin move. Acuna is out on Wusong. Wusong will flip to Thomas. Nothing on the shot clock. They don't get that off. That does not count. And you see uh, Coach Perv still applauding his guys, looking for the extra pass. Again, a while ago in the first half, only four assists uh, for this Indonesian Warriors team. So this time, this th at least in the third quarter of play, you see these guys in red being a little more unselfish and looking for their teammates. Warriors very wary of the outside shooting now of the Warriors. You got Val Acuna nestled over on the left wing. Fortuna, Williams four, Jay Williams, spin move. And Daniels could not control, it goes off his foot. Beerman will have it and a full 24 seconds to work with. But that's the type of shots you want the San Miguel Beerman to take. Justin Williams, not really an offensive threat against Steve Thomas, and that was what was happening right now. I think there's some question about how much time should be on the shot clock since there hadn't been a clean change of possession, Peter. Officials over to the scorer's table. See here we see again the ball did not hit the rim. Right. So the shot clock would continue to run as such. And Daniels did not have complete possession. Talking about here, of course, uh, Coach Leo Austria's turn. Okay, now they have adjusted it and put six seconds on the shot clock. And in fact, now five. Okay, five seconds on the shot clock. Let's get it straight. Foul in the corner. Correction, foot on the line. All right, lots of contentious calls here. But a foot on the line gives it back to Indonesia, who trail by 11. Opportunity to break into the single digit mark for the visiting team. Chris Daniels, good pass to Thomas. Gets the defenders off his feet and Brian Williams putting his hands up, saying, I had no choice. Mm -hmm. uh, Indonesia Warriors are running a flex offense, and uh, they get the big man, Stephen Thomas, free underneath the basket for a very short period of time. All right, now for the benefit of our audience, Peter, what is a flex offense? It's a, it's a offensive set that, you know, most of the teams, especially in Asia, call. And one of the things that they do is they free up their big man, and uh, Stephen Thomas, and you know, you know, Sean, there's a saying, it's not what you're doing that makes you win, it's how good you do it. And that's John Wooden in, in one of his famous one-liners. And you know, most of the teams know what, what they're doing. Uh, teams like Beerman and the Warriors, they play the pick and roll. Everyone does it, but it doesn't matter what you're doing, it's just how good you're doing it. And especially in this ball game, 
They're down by 11, only nine, the Warriors are. Courtesy of two Steve Thomas free throws. Eight seconds to fire for Fortuna. Looking to do it all by himself. Outside, Talava, and the rebound is from Wasong. Warriors starting to feel it now. Daniels from outside. Thomas right there, and he is pulled down by Asi Talava. Asi Talava acknowledges his foul. But the problem is Stephen Thomas now exerting a lot of effort, at least here in the second half of play, getting to the line and again. The, the problem with that Talava foul is it puts him over the limit. So Thomas shooting free throws with 48.1 seconds left in the third. So far, so good for this guy on the line. Three free throws made. If you look at the, some of the guards, Jerry Cañana against the Paolo Ubalde. Daniels there for the rebound. Oh, that's what you call a coach's nightmare, Sean. The Warriors can get within five. Wusong trying to get separation. Pringle taking Acuna, getting a hand in with three seconds and the score from Steve Thomas. And he has five points in the last 10 seconds. What? With the Beerman, really good defense, it's better offense coming from the Indonesia Warriors. The crowd silenced here at the Inara Sports Arena. Justin Williams down Broadway on the finger roll. Count it! And that stops the rot for San Miguel. Now San Miguel will take that, even if it's the, not the nicest type of shot you will see from Justin Williams. But we've got a ball game, Sean. A very different third quarter after leading the Indonesia Warriors by 15 points. The San Miguel Beermen will take an eight point lead into the fourth quarter. We'll have it for you when we return on Fox. Nine points from Steve Thomas in the third quarter. Thomas now with 18 to lead all scorers, and he has single-handedly brought this Indonesia Warrior team back into this game 56-48. Beerman on top as we welcome you back to the Inaris Sports Arena. Sean Farquhar along with Peter Martin and Noel Bonus blocked by Justin Williams. Specialty of the house coming from Justin Williams. You know, his uh, talent being put to perfect use here in the fourth quarter for the San Miguel Beerman. Daniels on a catch and shoot, and he scores. And the Warriors trail by six. You can see interviews, columns, and loads of information on the ABL website at AussieOnBasketballLeague.com. Also like the league on Facebook. Here's Aussie Talava on a drive and scores on the finger roll. Also follow all the news from the ABL on Twitter at ABL News. So the problem right now of the Indonesia Warriors is that they also can't stop the offense of the Beermen. Daniels, one bounce. Not strong enough off the glass. Kowalin behind everyone, and he's disrupted by Jarek Kanyata, who's not going to give up the uncontested oh, lay-in. It's a little shoulder bump on the way back up the floor. Kowaling to the line, through three quarters. J.R. Kowaling is scoreless. In that third quarter, after the San Miguel Beermen had been six of 15 from downtown, as we take another look here at Aussie Talava, who incidentally with that is into double figures with 10 points. Beerman only attempted one three in the third quarter. Peter, it was a miss. 
and they went away from Valacuna in that period. Well, Indonesia put their clamps down on Valacuna, especially when he when he entered the ball game in the third quarter. They were locating him really much better than they were in the first half, and hence uh, no points in the third. Cognata gives it to Daniels, who blows the dunk. That is embarrassing. Talaba at the other end, broken up by Satepu. But Chris Daniels, red-faced, Peter, which should have been two points. And more important than being red-faced is the, the opportunity to score in a good play for uh, the Indonesian Warriors. Here you go, it's a perfect pass coming from Jerry Cañada. And there you go, a counter-fast break. <laughs> Not to mention the long rebound, and at the other end, Asi Talaba nearly scoring. Drive from Hupalde, the foul, and let's see if it is of the shooting variety. Yes, it is. Two at the line for Paula Hupalde. And that is the second team foul on Indonesia. You know, Paula Hupalde was just reading what type of defense you're going to see against the, uh, the Indonesia Warriors. This time, the guard going under the big man in the pick and roll. Paulo Hubade, a little space, goes and uh, attacks that gap. He gets fouled, makes his first free throw. I'll correct myself, it's the third team foul on Indonesia. And we've only played about a minute and a half here of the fourth. Kanyata. Daniels, Cognata, show and go move from the corner. Christian Satepu not having a good day at all. Here's Noel Bonus. All right, so I got to hear a little bit of Coach John and in his huddle, and he was a lot nicer this time to his boys because he knows that they are doing well and picking up the second quarter. Um, and sec second half of the quarter, actually, excuse me. And he pretty much told them to just be a little more faster on their plays and to put a lot more pressure on the Bearmen. And um, it, it seems to be working so far. So if they keep this up, they'll be a lot better. And back to you guys. Thank you, Noel. Rebound from Talava. Cabalde trying to hit Talava. And then the put back jam from Jay Williams. You know, we were supposed to talk about Justin Williams and it's a minor injury to his thumb, but it looks so far so good. <laughs> Hasn't bothered him a bit. Justin Williams. Now with eight. From the top, Daniels. Beerman doing a better job sealing off and preventing the offensive rebound from Indonesia. The ball day on a keep goes inside. Thomas blocking that gets all ball. Skip pass. Pringle out in front, and he scores with ease. 63-52, Beermen. So still not giving up for the Indonesia Warriors. They need more and more of those plays, especially if uh, they play good defense. The easiest type of points, which can come from the Indonesia Warriors, are those fast break types of points. Plenty of time remaining here. Hubalde, and that's an over and back. A uh, good pressure com coming from uh, Jerry Cañara to force the turnover coming from uh, uh, Paolo Hubalde. And a while ago, it was a play coming from Pringle, this time from Cañara. So the guards of the Indonesia Warriors stepping up here with six minutes to go in the ballgame. John Smith in for Christian Satepu. Daniels lays a screen on Avenido. Avenido, or rather, Cañada has it taken away. Along the side, Hubalde keeps it in. Circling back. Hubalde trying to save it. It's another over and back on the consecutive possession for the beer men. And you know, Sean, for the beer men, no need to be in a rush to get some points up. They're up by 11 with a six minutes to go, five and change. And they don't have to be in a hurry. Pringle looking for a clear out. 
That crossover is just lethal. Sent back, Smith for three. John Smith driving. Daniels, the block by Justin Williams, standing his ground. Avenito with the layup, and the beer man crushing Indonesia in transition. Great picture, perfect fast break again. Coming from uh, Paolo Hubalde, keeping the ball to the last second, giving up to Avenito. Pringle in rhythm, swish. And that's dangerous, especially when Pringle starts to take, tries to take charge, and his outside shot goes in. Midway through this fourth quarter, it's a 10-point spread for the San Miguel Beermen. Avenido with Cañada on him. Seven seconds on the shot clock. Talava has it taken away. Pringle now looking to do it by himself. And he will go to the line. The foul is called on Fubalde. Timeout on the floor with 4.35. When we return, Stan Pringle to shoot a pair. Don't go away. Warriors on the march back. This is the ABL on Fox Sports. Back at the Inaris Sports Arena, 4.35 to go in the fourth. The San Miguel Beermen's lead has been cut to nine. Stan Pringle to shoot one more free throw. He makes both. And it's now an eight-point game. And here, Sean, even if you know that the Indonesia Warriors are a bit tired since they play a lot of minutes, they go and pressure the guards and everyone else from the Beermen. Leo Avenido looking to drive. Williams couldn't get it on the tap back. Pringle in the open floor where he is so dangerous. Pringle on the crossover, going over the top. Knocked out and remains in the hands of the Warriors. You're right, Sean. It's really dangerous to have Stanley Pringle on a one-on-one -on -one situation. You want to send another defender, at least a second defender, to guard at least the shaded area where Stanley Pringle might go. Smith has a long look before sending it into Daniels. Full shot clock to work with for Indonesia. Pringle, again, a solo effort now for Thomas. Gets it back. Oh, Kanyata oh. drains a three, surprising the beer men. And it's a five-point lead for San Miguel. And I'm sure that's not the way they drew it, the play, but they just take it. One of those plays where the coach goes, no, no, way to go. <laughs> Tip pass. Williams comes up with it, then loses it. Pringle scoops up the loose ball. Over for Smith. Kanyata, show and go move along the baseline. Knocked out. And it's Warriors ball with 17 seconds on the shot clock. You know, one of the things these Indonesian guards are not afraid of is that Justin Williams, even if he's inside, they will still try and go for the shot in, inside the basket. Daniels gets Talava off his feet, and there's the foul. And Chris Daniel earns a pair at the line. Miscommunication between the San Miguel Beermen defense Asi Taulava got screened on that last play. Chris Daniels, very patient, not going for the shot right away, waiting for Asi and biting to the fake was Asi and gets his foul. Chris Daniels through three quarters. One of two at the line, now make him one of three. Thomas controls off the missed free throw. Pringle will put it up. Loose ball. Hubalde comes up with it. 
They try and trap Hubalde on the side. Aaron pass, Kanyata gets in front of that and the foul. Coming that will Ar be called on RJ Rizada. Thank you, Peter. Rizada gives them their fourth. You know, Sean, the problem with the beer man was that they left Paulo Hubalde all alone when the four other white shirts were on the front court already. That's why uh, Paulo Hubalde had to hoist an unerrant pass, hence the turnover. Stan Pringle. Matched up with Rosada. They swing it, Kanyata, a little shake and bake on the side. Oh, Whoa. puts up the shot! Jared Kanyata is fearless! He has two threes in a row. And it's a two-point San Miguel lead with 2.47 to go. We are going to stay here for the last two minutes and 47 seconds here of the fourth quarter. Jared Kanyata coming alive here in the fourth. You know, Peter, way back at the beginning of the year when the Indonesia Warriors made their only other trip to the Inara Sports Arena. It was Jared Kanyata down the stretch who killed San Miguel, and now he's doing it again here in May. But the problem with that it was that it was good defense coming from Paulo Hubalde, a hand in his face. Still the swish coming from Jared Kanyata. Kanyata was scoreless through three quarters, but two monster threes here in the fourth, and it's a two point deficit facing Indonesia. And you see the resilience coming from this Indonesian squad. Sean, you and I, we thought a while ago after the first half, 42 to 27 at the half, we said, you know, it's going to be a, a, a walk in the park. We thought that the San Miguel Beerman would be, it would be a walk in the park with them, but not so. Right now, only a two-point lead, and now the pressure comes to the San Miguel Beerman. The 12-game win streak in jeopardy for San Miguel with 2.47 to play. Here you go with the full court pressure coming from the Indonesia Warriors. Rosada has it. That's knocked out by Kanyata. So it's Rosada, Hubalde, Acuna, Brian Williams, and Talava for San Miguel. And Leo Austria will bring Acuna out and bring Avenido in. Kanyata, Chris Daniel, Steve Thomas, and Stan Pringle for Indonesia. Avenido matched up with Pringle. Pringle fights through the screen. Now Talava outside. He's in double figures on the day, looking to bang with Thomas. Talava loses the handle. That is great D from Steve Thomas. Warriors looking to tie or take the lead. Pringle, drive. Snatched by Brian Williams. Who ball day, and that's a foul. That's a dangerous foul, in fact, by John Smith. A couple of plays coming into this <laughs> last two minutes and change. Brinkle had an open layup. Todd Purvis wants to talk it over. That's the fourth team foul on Indonesia. It comes with two minutes and ten to play with the Beermen up by a deuce. Indonesia on the road back as we take another look at the foul and I said that was John Smith. In fact, Jarek Kanyata sending Paulo Hubalde to the floor. For the San Miguel Beermen, their next game is Wednesday, May 8th, right here at the Inara Sports Arena as they take on Chris Charles, Joe Bryant, and the Sports Rev Thailand Slammers. Indonesia Warriors play that very same night on May 8th at the Mahaka Square in North Jakarta as they entertain the Saigon Heat. Warriors will then finish the season with a home and home against the Singapore Slingers. And after a second game against the Thailand Slammers for San Miguel, they finish up their regular season on the road in Kuala Lumpur against the Dragons on May 17th. 
Plenty of basketball remaining to be played here at the Inara Sports Arena, 65-63. Beerman inbounding with 21 seconds on the shot clock. Kanyata on Hubalde. Taulava sneaking out. Brian Williams going down the lane, off the glass, and calm as you like, sinks a big, big jumper. That's a good play coming from Coach Leo Ostre to draw the play to get his big man, Brian Williams, free on the top of the key. Almost the forgotten man on offense here in the second half. Pringle, plenty of movement, puts it up from outside. Rebound by Hubalde. 90 seconds to go at Pasig City. Beerman not in a hurry in this offense. They spread the floor. Rosada drive, finger roll, tap, Talaba taken off the rim. Smith wants to run. Pringle whipping it. John Smith in the corner. Kanyata, the wing three! To make it a one point game with an even minute remaining. If all the people to leave alone, it's Derek Kanyada in the corner for the Indonesia Warriors. Hibalde now circles back, trying to eat some clock here. 48 seconds to play. Warriors with a foul to give. Corner three. Thomas pulling it down. Warriors have plenty of time here. 33 seconds to go. They could play two for one if they want. Smith. Daniels out to set the screen. They change it up. Beerman will get the ball back regardless. Thomas putting it up. And the rebound by San Miguel. They can run out the clock and a foul on the side. The Warriors got the shot they wanted, Peter, just unable to execute. That's actually a good execution coming from the Indonesian Warriors. Well, the whole building was praying that the shot of Stephen Thomas would not go in. This timeout taken by San Miguel will step away and return you for the final 8.8 .8 seconds in a moment. Final 8.8 .8 seconds here from the Inara Sports Arena. San Miguel up 67-66. They have the ball on the side. Looking to run out the clock here. Thomas runs out on Taulava. Foul committed, putting Ozzy Taulava on the line. Now I'm surprised that they wouldn't get a better free throw shooter out there taking the inbound pass. Well, it looks like Asi will have to be challenged to make these two free throws, so at least anything that happens, 7.6 seconds to go. Obviously, you want to hit both free throws so that the uh, three-point shot will only send it into overtime. Pressure free throws for this big man here. Todd Purvis has Kanyata, Pringle, and John Smith out there, but their best three-point shooter Mario Wassong, I'm talking about on the season, is on the bench. That's a good point, but uh, Asita Olava, no problem for the first free throw. He sinks both. So on the dead ball, 7.6 seconds remaining, and the Warriors will need a three to tie. Mm -hmm. And maybe now we will see Wasong come back into the game. For San Miguel, once again, a win, and their record would go to 16-3, and three, having won 13 consecutive games, extending an ABL record, and in so doing, would lock up the number one spot and home court advantage throughout the playoffs for Indonesia. 
a loss here would be their third consecutive. Remember, they have dropped a pair to the Malaysia Dragons, or rather, they're three and four. There was a win sandwiched in there against the Saigon Heat. But a loss here would be their sixth, and the Malaysia Dragons, who are 10 and eight, are within hailing distance with three games remaining in the season for Indonesia and four for Malaysia. Leo Austria setting up the defense. You know, usually, Sean, what happens there is that they tell all the players to switch and then do not bite on the fake. Obviously, the last thing you want is a three-point shot foul. The ball is advanced on the timeout. Daniels to inbound. Wusong stays on the bench. Clock starts now. Kanyata puts up the three. Thomas flipping it back. And that will do it. Hibalde gets tied up with 0.1 seconds left. I'm not sure they're even going to have him shoot the free throws with 0.1 second left. And in fact, they are. So we're uh -huh. not done yet. But for all intents and purposes, it is a victory for the San Miguel Beermen. Hubalde, just to make it official. Hubalde with his father in attendance at the line. There, that's uh, Freddy Hubalde, longtime PBA player for the Crispa Red Manizers. It'll go be missing the second free throw. Yeah, Paula Hibalde fans out in full force. It'll go into the books as a 70-66 victory for the San Miguel Beermen. They have won 13 straight and have locked up the number one seed in the ABL playoffs and will hold home court in the semifinals and finals. For the Indonesia Warriors, they drop to 13 and six. We'll come back to the Inara Sports Arena for post-game analysis. This is the ABL on Fox. Back at the Inara Sports Arena, and here you see Brian Williams with the big basket. This made it a three-point game and put pressure on Indonesia in what would eventually be a 70-66 win. Brian Williams finishing with 15 points. In fact, nine different San Miguel Beermen scoring in this one, and Leo Austria needed contributions, Peter, from everyone today. And you know, Vala Cunha, only 15 points in the first half. Obviously, he was not there in the last couple of minutes. And you saw the Brian Williams uh, two-point bank shot. And it had to be a group effort for the San Miguel Beermen. You want to you commend them because they held their ground. You saw the surge coming from the Indonesia Warriors, but they held their ground, and they come up the victors today. Right. We saw the pride of the defending ABL champions today. And down 42-27 at the half. They made this a game, got it as close as one before the beer men taking it down the stretch and you know great three point shooting in that first half and that was the unexpected weapon for San Miguel today and of course also second half Jerry Cañada hit a couple of really big shots with defense on his face and that's the reason why they were able to come back in this ball game they pressured the guards of the San Miguel Beermen but at least the San Miguel Beermen they they held fort at least in their home court in this game 18 points for Steve Thomas, not quite enough. 15 for Stan Pringle. He continues to play well, but they are not getting the victories down the stretch. Well, uh, Stan Pringle will still improve. Last game he scored 19 points, this game 15, so he's going to be a steady staple for the Indonesian Warriors. Of, of course, Mario Wusang Wus was absent in the last five minutes of the game. We want to see what's, uh, how, how uh, Coach Purves will uh, try and, uh, you know, mix up his lineup 
in the coming games for the Indonesian Warriors. Our Noel bonus is standing by with Brian Williams. All right, I'm here with player of the game, Brian Williams. Now, Brian, first of all, congratulations on your 13th game-winning streak. And you guys just seem to be unstoppable. What is the key to this success and to this magical streak? I mean, once we started playing defense, I think that's when we started winning games. I mean, we struggled the first six games because we allowed our opponents to get over 60 points, but it's been our goal the rest of the season to keep them under 60. And the games we've done that, we won. So, I mean, that's been our main focus is defensive rebound right now. And it seems to be working just fine. And so now take us back to the last few seconds of the game when the Warriors were in possession of the ball and you guys were up by only one point. What was going through your mind? I mean, it was just get, find a way to get the ball and bounce. I know we had the possession and we had to hit two uh, clutch free throws and Ossie did that. So, I mean, it was just switching defense from there and it, we got them to get, get the shot that we wanted. We got the rebound and won the game. There you have it. Well, congrats again on being player of the game and uh, wish the team good luck on your next one. Back to you guys. Noel, thank you. 15 points for Brian Williams and a commitment to team defense, mm -hmm. certainly on display today, holding the Warriors under 70. And that's what you saw in the st statistic a while ago. The first nine games, the 77 was the average of the teams against the San Miguel Beermen. In the last nine games, or now, now 10 games, only 60 plus, 61, 62. So that's the defense that uh, Brian Williams has been talking about. So the standings now look like this. The Beermen with a record of 16 and three, clinch the top seed going into the postseason and they will host both the semifinal and final presumably if they get there the indonesia warriors now at 13 and 6 need a couple of wins to elude the westport malaysia dragons who have a game in singapore on sunday they're at 10 and 8. for the san miguel beermen they will now entertain the sports rev thailand slammers in a pair of games here at the inara sports arena before finishing the season against the Westport Malaysia Dragons for the Indonesia Warriors. They have a home and home against the Singapore Slingers before finishing against the Saigon Heat. That will do it, 70-66, your final for Noel Bonus and Peter Martin. I'm Sean Farquhar, we'll say good night from Pasig City.